Welcome to Water and Ice Outdoors. Today we are talking about one of my favorite rigs on the planet, the Nico rig. This is one of the most effective rigs or lures that you can fish just about anywhere on the lake. It catches large bass, it catches numbers of bass, and you are gonna love it and it's easy to fish. Stay tuned, we're gonna get in deep. Just hooked up on the Nico, guys. It's a decent fish. Skinny. Oh, you guys, I'm telling you, this Nico rig, it just does work. It just does work. It's a nice fish, guys. Solid fish. Oh, come here, bud. All right, guys. That's two on the Nico. Starting to heat up. This guy's got a little belly on him. That's what we're looking for. Gotta love that Nico fish. All right, so we're sitting in about 15 feet of water. We're on the edge of the weed line, the deep edge of the weed line. I've got a point over to my left and I am throwing the Nico rig. And if you've followed me since last summer, you know how much I love this rig. And I highly recommend everybody learn this rig because it is so effective and it's so simple. Here's all it is. It's a Senko with a Nico rig hook and then you have a nail weight that you insert in the head of the in the head of whatever worm you're using and then I use a wacky rig uh, ring just an o-ring which keeps your plastic fresh and then you uh, hook that ring with your Nico hook and you basically work it just like a wacky rig the best part about it though is because it has a nail weight in it, it falls head first and kind of twirls slowly as it falls, which allows you to do two things. One, it allows you to fish deeper water than you normally would with a wacky rig because most times with a wacky rig, you're fishing it weightless or you've got just a small uh, jig head on it and it takes forever to get down to deep water, say, 15 feet or over with the Nico rig it takes about five seconds to get down to 15 20 feet of water and a lot of people fish this up shallow like around docks and trees and in the grass I absolutely love fishing this on the deep weed line you set up just off the weed line cast up to the edge of the deep weed edge and then you just work this back just like a wacky rig cast it out let it fall, twitch it a few times straight up, let it fall. Twitch it a few times, let it fall. Just like a wacky rig. And the bite 
the feel is just the same when a fish bites. You feel that little tap and you set the hook straight up or a lot of people like to just reel because if you use these uh, Nico rig hooks or Nico hooks from VMC, you don't need to set the hook. And a lot of times, I mean, they're tiny. You can see, you can see how tiny these things are. You can see how tiny those hooks are but they stick fish like you wouldn't believe and fish don't come off. A lot of times I have to use pliers to get these out of fish. So that's how I rig it. That's how I fish it. And it is in the summer, it is one of the most effective baits that I've used. Fish on. Feels like a good one too. Staying down like a big bass. Hopefully it is and it's not a pike. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? You got me snagged on something? Ah, there he comes. Gotta be a bass. Oh, it is. Oh, it's not even big. <laughs> he got me snagged on a freaking piece of weed. I mean, he's not bad. He's definitely not the giant I thought he was. <sighs> definitely not the giant we thought he was. Oh, you stink. Still a pretty good bass. Not bad at all. On that Nico rig. Again. There he goes. All right, so I mentioned the rig. Now I'm going to mention my setup. So I've got a Daiwa Fuego, uh, I believe it's a 25, 3000 Fuego LT spinning reel. And I've got a Shimano SLX uh, seven foot, uh, I believe it's a medium with an extra fast tip on it. And I'm using 12 pound Hi-Viz uh, Power Pro. And then I've got a eight pound fluoro leader uh, tied directly to that braid and of course I've got the Nico rig on the end of that and I just cast it out casting isn't a huge you don't need a ton of distance when you're using this but you want to let it fall straight down or not straight down but once you cast it you want to let it fall down now on that first lift when you twitch it a few times, a lot of times I'll have a fish on, on that initial fall. And that's really tough to feel because it's usually on slack line. Um, but a lot of times I'll get fish on that initial fall. Ooh, thought I had one there. All these freaking waves aren't helping me feel anything either. Apparently it's getting busy out here now. Now you can fish this by feel, where you feel the tap on your rod, depending on, you know, most rods can feel it, but you know, nicer rods, you're gonna feel it a little easier. Um, this is a hundred dollar rod. I don't typically, I, I don't buy three, four hundred dollar rods. I just can't afford it. Um, so I go for um, that kind of hundred dollar range and that's been enough quality for me, honestly. I can feel the bites, they fight the fish great, and there's a lot of nice options out there too for rods and reels right at the hundred dollar mark. Oop, nope, that was a weed. But like I was saying, 
you can detect bites two ways. You can feel the tap on the rod, or you can watch your line. And what I like to do is leave a little slack in my line, and I'll watch that bow of the line, and when a fish inhales it, or inhales your bait, you'll see your line twitch, it'll jump. And that's why I'm using the high vis line right now because it makes it way easier to see that line jump. And I, I feel it as well, but that's just how I prefer to, I watch my line, I'm a line watcher. But I can't tell you how effective this Nico rig is from June to September on these deep weed lines. You know, it's getting to be the end of June right now, and this bite is just starting to heat up. So you'll be able to throw this all summer long, and I guarantee you, you'll catch fish. And I catch good numbers of fish, I catch big fish, I mean it's, my one complaint with the Ned Rig, it definitely catches fish, but it catches a lot of small fish, even though it catches big fish as well, it catches a lot of small fish. And this Nico Rig, since you're using a full size Senko, doesn't seem to catch as many of those small fish. That is, oh man. God, I love this freaking Nico rig. Now where the heck are all my big bass? Almost took the monster out. <sighs> Just phenomenal, man. Just phenomenal. This guy's got flatworms. Fish on. telling you guys it just doesn't stop Nico rig also guys some people some people super glue the nail weight in there personally I just make sure it's buried so you can see how it's in just a little, maybe an eighth of an inch into the worm. And that that seems to do plenty. I used to super glue it just because I heard you needed to. Uh, but since I've stopped, I've literally lost, I think, one nail weight. And I do use the VMC nail weights as well. I've noticed that those just seem to stay in uh, better, than, better than others. 
at least the few that I've tried anyways. But it's all preference. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you what I'm set up on here. Hopefully you can see my graph. Um, the white is shallow water and the dark blue is deep water. Hopefully you can see that. But I'm sitting right here. There's a main point right here, a main lake point, comes up to about three feet, and I'm sitting in about 16 feet of water. And there's a weed edge that runs right along like that 14 foot mark. And I'm thrown up into that weed edge and just whack, almost wacky rigging it right out of there, the Nico rig. So um, you just lift, 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 let it fall back down. Lift, 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 let it fall back down. And I'm picking off bass. I mean, you've been watching. I've been picking, out, picking off bass left and right. So um, main lake points I've had really good success with uh, the Nico rig on. Um, just working those deep weed edges. So next time you're out, give the Nico rig a try and uh, focus on those main lake points and the weed lines. All right, guys, I hope this video has shown you how effective and fun the Nico rig can be to fish. You can fish this shallow, deep weeds, docks. It's one of the most versatile rigs out there. And I've really gotten proficient at using it over the last year. And it's completely changed, one, my tournament game, and two, just the way I look at a fish, it's opened up so many different areas that I can fish now and feel comfortable fishing. I was never really an offshore guy until I started using this in deep water and it's made an absolutely huge difference. So next time you go out, try the Nico rig and you'll have a blast reeling in all these bass. Thanks for watching Water and Ice Outdoors. As always, click that subscribe button if you haven't and hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching.